Time for some stratisfaction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. Trish knows how to make magic in that ring, especially with her ride or die lead up. Whenever the two of them were in the ring together, whether they were standing on the opposite sides of the ring or working together towards a common goal, something special transpires. As creepy as it sounds to hear you use gangster slang, Myron, you actually have a good point. But just to be clear, Trish Stratus makes magic whenever she's in the ring. And their partner from Sanford, North Carolina, Lee! There is no denying that alongside her bestie, Trish Stratus, Lita is one of the cornerstones of the women's evolution. You have a good point, Byron. It's hard to imagine where the women's division would even be without her unorthodox style in and out of the ring. She's already got a Hall of Fame ring to show for it, but I'm sure that once the bell rings, the WWE Universe will be more than ready to let her know one more time that she's still got it. The Pirate Princess is here. And their opponents, first, from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kyrie Sane! Can we all please just stop with this pirate charade? Uh, ease up, Corey. It's fun. And it's based off Kyrie Sane's actual pro yachting career. Well, I understand that, Cole, but yachting and pirating? Two completely different things. I saw her say hi to Bret Hart the other day. A real pirate would have just stolen his jacket. Such a, such a captivating entrance alone to watch. Not to mention when Kyrie Sane actually competes in the ring. All she needs is a parrot. I'm a big fan of what Kyrie Sane brings to sports entertainment. Thanks, Corey. I cannot wait to see what Kyrie Sane brings to the table here tonight. Very charismatic young lady. Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka. Her dominance, her unique appearance, and her unmistakable aura have all made Asuka one of the top competitors in the entire women's division. Well, if body language is any indicator, it would appear that Asuka showing no concern for what she's about to uh, partake in. The future is iconic. And Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. These two are joined at the hip, and I think I know why, too. Nobody else likes Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. You gotta be Joe Kin, me, Saxton. You go to journalism for that?
This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. This should be interesting, guys, as six of WWE's top names square off here. And across the ring is a superstar who's been around the block a few times, Trish Stratus. I don't even have to wonder if Stratus has a game plan for this match. I think we all know she absolutely does. Trish's veteran instincts can often be the deciding factor. Lita's on the attack now. She's got her. Harsh impact. Boom! <laughs> Driving knee. Ooh! Followed by the axe kick. Asuka's trying to get into her opponent's head. Oh, to the back of the neck. To the outside. Back into the ring. Nice job by Asuka. Ooh, what impact. has this WWE Universe wrapped around her finger. Punishing the opponent. Bang right in the face. Hey, Royce got her there. He's 
these ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. She picks up the win. Look out, women's locker room. This girl is for real. I wasn't completely convinced these three were on the same page throughout the entire match, but they were certainly able to overcome any potential issues to pick up the win.